Now, for many of you, I've probably not shown you anything particularly new. I've just demonstrated how easy it is to quickly create a customer net sales inquiry form. I'm going to get serious now, take my jacket off, and I'm going to show you how we can integrate this now with Visual Report Writer to give us a much more powerful range of reporting. For those of you with the Visual Report Writer module, you've got a series of reports that you could build yourself. We've got some demonstration reports in there. I've created this one previously for the purposes of this demonstration. And I just want to print it to screen for you with the range selected, just to give you an example of how professional it can look as a standalone report on its own. In this case, I want over a series of uh, periods I want to know what transactions we purchased items, I'm switching to suppliers now, um, by which transaction and what the lines represent, what stock we purchased, for which job code, which analysis code, cost centre department, etc. And hopefully you'll all agree that that's a fairly professional looking report. I'd have no problem printing that, that report and giving it to one of my managers. And it tells me that line information that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to run that report again but I want to integrate it with Excel now. Many of you will know that with Visual Report Writer, there's already the option to output any of our reports directly to an Excel spreadsheet. In this instance, though, I'm not going to use that option. I'm going to use an option that a lot of people don't use, and that is the Output to DBF option. Much the same as outputting to Excel, I choose where I want to save it and what name I want to give it. I would probably choose, a again, a shared location somewhere on the drive, same drive as your Exchequer system. And I'd choose a name that I'm going to use for it over and over again. In this case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. I run it again. It's got all the same filters that I've introduced to the report for running it over a series of periods. And I'm going to print that. Now, nothing's going, actually going to print to screen on this case because I've asked it not to print it to screen, it's just creating a file. It's a file I'm going to use when integrating with Excel. As soon as that's finished. And there you go. So nothing fancy has happened so far, but I'm going to start a new spreadsheet. Starting from blank, again using the Excel functions we've got available in our ribbons across the top there. I'm going to go to the data tab in this case. And you can see straight away in the top left, there's a, a number of different ways that we can integrate the data from that any output into Excel. From access, from web information, from text, or from a number of other sources. In this instance, I'm going to choose the option from access. This opens up a data source search. I know where it is, it's on the desktop. I'll browse to the desktop and type the name in. It pops up straight away because it recognizes the name, and I click on Open. It now pops up a dialogue asking me, firstly, how I want this data to appear in my workbook, and secondly, where do I want to put it? Now, I'm quite happy in this case to, to use it as a table and to have it on the existing worksheet. So I'll accept those defaults and click OK. Instantly, that same information from that professionally arranged and styled report that I demonstrated earlier is now available on a line basis in Excel. It's got all the transaction references, the supplier references, stock codes, quantities, descriptions. Now that I've got it in Excel, what can I do with it? Well, here's another lovely tool that's available to Excel. I'm going to create a report very quickly based on that data that shows me the quantity of stock for each stock item I've pur purchased from each supplier. To do that, I'm going to go back to the Insert tab and I'm going to click on the Pivot Table option. The first thing it asks me to do with the Create Pivot Table is to select my range or a table. Now, the range is the range of data that I've already brought in from my Visual Report Writer output. So I go back to Sheet 1, and I can simply drag and highlight the range 
I want to copy. For the sake of this report, and because I know I want to be able to update it in future outputs from Visual Report Writer, I'm just going to extend that range all the way down like so. When I'm happy, I'll click OK. This opens up the Excel pivot table wizard, where we can start creating the layout of the report we want. First of all is my stock codes. I want to see my stock codes listed as rows. So I'm going to take the code for the stock codes, in this case TL stock cod, and I'm going to drag it into my row labels field like so. Instantly that gives me a summary of all the stock codes that have been returned by my report. Across the columns I want to see my suppliers, so I'm going to choose, I can choose either my supplier code or my supplier name. I'll choose my supplier name and I can drag that to the column labels box and that automatically puts a summary of all the suppliers on all those transactions across the columns like so. Finally I want to know what my quantity purchases are. So I'll take the value of TL quantity and I'll drag that down into the values field like so. Initially it's decided to show me a count of those quantities. I want to see a sum so I'll click on it, select value field settings like so, choose sum and click OK. Again based on a report I've output from Visual Report Writer I've now quickly and easily produced a report that shows me my purchases by quantity, by stock code, by supplier with a grand total on the right hand side there. Further to that, with using Excel's functionality, we can easily add a graph to that. One of the advantages of Excel is it already knows I've got a table there from my pivot table. So when I click on insert and graph, I'm going to add a 3D pie graph now. It automatically gets in the data for the first of those columns as a graph I can use like so. I'm not going to show you all the different graphs again. And I can move that over there just to one side. So quite quickly and easily, we've got our stock report.